Former White House Chief of Staff and now Bondi Partners consultant Mick Mulvaney joins us. Mick, thanks so much. Um, where to start here? Um, what is the US? What's the official line coming out of the White House now? Well, let's look at the actions rather than the words right now, Laura, to begin with. We participated um, over the weekend in helping defend Israel, uh, along with the British, I believe, against the attacks from Iran. Um, so we're actively engaged on behalf of Israel. I understand that our government um, in the last couple of hours has put out a statement saying they uh, were encouraging uh, Israel not to retaliate. And then, of course, as you just mentioned, there's been some reporting that uh, we've suggested we would not participate in any retaliation. That makes some sense. I would think, find it hard to believe that American um, weaponry uh, people mm. uh, would be used in attacking Iran. Um, but so far, it looks as though we're doing exactly what one would expect. We helped Israel defend itself and now encourage them to uh, to be cautious in their response. Uh, so did the UK and so did Jordan to an extent. Has that raised some eyebrows there? Um, not here. The Jordan probably does, although the relationship between Jordan and Israel has gotten much better uh, over the course of the last several years. Keep in mind, um, Iran is not uh, not well liked uh, amongst uh, many in the uh, in the, in the Sunni world in the in the Shia world. So uh, that's probably not surprising. And an unprovoked attack again from the Iranian mainland, from the from the from the country itself. This was not a proxy attack. It was not attack from a Hezbollah uh, or Hamas, uh, you know, or other Iranian funded. And funded surrogates. This came straight from Iran itself, which was the first time in history. So it's probably not surprising to see Jordan uh, reach out to help uh, defend Israel as well. And how difficult is this for the United States to to manage, uh, particularly in an election year, Mick? It is. It's going to be different. It's going to be hard, but it's going to be different than Gaza. Keep in mind that there's a, a very strong pro-Palestinian um, element here in the United States. That's different um, than defending Iran. Not entirely different. There are certain elements here. There's certainly anti-Israel, which, of course, would be against us helping Iran. Uh, but it's not exactly the same political dynamic. That being said, to the extent um, Joe Biden is not only the sitting president, but all, also a, a candidate for re-election, it's hard to imagine that politics isn't going to weigh in, and he doesn't want to be perceived by various oh. folks on his extreme left as being too pro-Israel under these circumstances. Yeah, so what's the feeling among those in Washington at the moment, Mick, that what we've seen over the weekend is a, a further escalation? Because I know, you know, Israel was under pressure to um, end the war in Gaza, this feels like it might prolong and even extend the conflict. Well, certainly that's, I'm sure that's the concern all the way around the world, not just yeah. in Washington and, exactly. and, in, and in Jerusalem, but in Sydney as, and Canberra as well. Um, but keep in mind, there's, there's, a, there's, there's an element here that might, might provide an opening to not um, force an escalation here, which is the attack was largely ineffective. Granted, that does not excuse it by any stretch of the imagination, um, but reports I'm reading in the last couple of hours are that as many as 99% of the, the drones, the missiles were, were, were destroyed before they hit their target. So it's not as if Israel received a tremendous amount of damage. I'm not aware right now, as we have this conversation, Laura, about reports of injuries or death. Um, so I don't want to minimize that in any way, shape or form. But that being said, it that may provide an off-ramp if, um, if the parties involved choose to look for one. Yeah, one we're um, watching very closely, Mick. Thank you. Thank you, Laura.